What is up, F and True followers and wrestling fans? You are watching the F and Brand of Wrestling and Entertainment here on YouTube.com. My name is JC Styles, and I am back with the NXT review for March 14, 2013. This was a great NXT episode, and every week that I watch NXT, I really get behind these guys that they are the future of the WWE. We start off the show with Cassius Ono and Derek Bateman. We see Cassius Ono pick up the win over Derek Bateman. Post-match, Ono puts a submission hold on Bateman that looked like a modified Regal stretch. This catches the attention of William Regal, and as Regal sprints down to the ring to break this up, he is spun around by Cassius Ono. Then Regal catches him with a left closed fist, almost like the power of the punch, but without the brass knuckles. We then go backstage to a Bo Dallas interview. He talks about what Bray Wyatt and the family did to him last week, causing him a chance to compete for the NXT World Heavyweight Championship. He says that he is going to get vengeance on, on Bray Wyatt and the family later into the night. We then see Summer Rae defeat Emma. Now, a few weeks back, I did a review, and I talked about Emma and how she looked really sloppy in the ring, and she dances that, you know, she doesn't, she can't dance. And she botched getting in the ring. Now, after seeing her a couple of times, I now know that is part of her in-ring gimmick, that she's supposed to play that kind of a character. But she's just doing a really bad job because when it comes down to the wrestling ability, she's not on par. Granted, she's doing a lot better. She she could do a lot better than I can. I'll tell you that much. She I can't do anything in the ring, <laughs> so I can tell you that she's doing something right. But I don't know. I just don't like how the way she's coming off in the ring. But we see Summer Rae pick up the win over Emma. Post match, Paige returns and runs down to the ring as Summer Rae scurries out of the ring. You hear Paige say, "I'm back. The summer session is over." And then we go to an Adrian Neville interview backstage. He talks about what happened to Oliver Gray and that he will be back soon. And then he talks into about an open challenge and he asks Dusty, Dusty to give him a match against the family next week. We then see Bo Dallas pick up a win over Bray Wyatt. This was actually a pretty good match. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was pretty good. I'm really impressed with Bo Dallas as of late. And... I can say that he's got a future as an Intercontinental Champion in the WWE. And I got to say, he's been really impressing the hell out of me. And he got thrown around for pretty good most of this match. And I have to say that he came back, picked up the win with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And then as he's celebrating post-match, the family jumps him. Then as he's fighting back, Bo Dallas sneaks behind him and hits that spinning face buster that he does. I don't know exactly what they call it. But he hits it, and we go to a Gabriel interview talking about Leo Kruger in the South African uh, South Africa militia, and that the things that they did to him caused him to go a little cuckoo, <laughs> and that the things that the militia did to him are is nothing compared to what Gabriel could do to him next week on NXT. We then go to a Biggie interview, and this was actually pretty funny. Um, they Matt Stryker asks Big E about his, Connor O'Brien, and then he talks about how Connor had to beat two guys last week to become NXT number one contender. This is going to be his first Big E's first title defense. It's going to be memorable, and he's going to make it delicious. And when I heard that, I just started laughing because I thought it was kind of cool that you know you don't get a lot of talking out of Big E. But, you know, he has, you know, he has the mic skills, and that's what's pretty good. I mean, we've seen it a couple of months back when he did that interview with Dolph Ziggler, and that was pretty funny. We then have Alberto Del Rio come out, and he's talking with the fans. You know, he's really working with the crowd. He's communicating. He's talking about the, uh, the NXT roster and saying that there's a future WWE and World Heavyweight Champion in the making. Then... United States Champion Antonio Cesaro comes out. Cesaro talks about how he is the greatest United States Champion ever and that he will be WWE or World Heavyweight Champion soon enough. That he also challenges Alberto Del Rio to a champion versus champions match in the main event of NXT tonight. Dusty Rhodes then comes out and says, You don't make the matches. Alberto Del Rio is my guest today. If you want a champion versus champion match, you're going to get one against this man. And Biggie Langston comes out. Now, I honestly thought we were going to get Alberto Del Rio versus Antonio Cesaro. 
champion versus champion match, and that would have been a pay-per-view caliber matchup right there. But we see Big E come out. Big E uh, picks up the win over Antonio Cesaro in a, a great match, but by disqualification when Corey Graves attacks Big E, followed by Cor Connor O'Brien, excuse me, and we see these guys jump and beat down on Big E to end the show. Now, I really love, I like NXT. I really like enjoying watching it. I enjoy reviewing it for you guys because it gives me more insight to where a lot of the the stars we new stars we see on a weekly basis on Raw and SmackDown come from, and especially like with the Shield. I didn't know the, who the Shield was until I went back and watched some old NXT footage. So, guys, thank you for watching. Leave your comments in the comment box below. And let me know your thoughts and opinions on what you think of NXT. Who your favorite NXT superstar and diva is. And for the FM brand, I'm JC Styles, and I'll catch you later.